Greetings everybody and welcome to Live from the She Shack. Today is February 17th, 2020 and this is floss tube number one. I'll share a little bit about myself with you, show you some recently completed projects and show you what's in my whip basket. So let's get started. My name is Donna. I live in Pierce, South Dakota on the beautiful Missouri River. I've been cross stitching for about 40 years and in those 40 years my tastes have changed considerably. The best way to show you my style is to show you some recently completed projects. Just this morning, I completed Fiona and Edward by Kathy Barrick. I first saw this project on the wall in Spring Green, Wisconsin and knew that I had to stitch it. I have converted everything on this project to silks. Edward the horse is stitched in a red Gloriana, I can't remember the name, but this pattern is stitched on Picture This Plus Bramble 40 count, and I absolutely love the way it turned out. It was a fast stitch, and it is lovely. A couple of weeks ago, one of my close stitching friends and I decided to start a project for a special event and we were able to complete that. This is Brenda Gervais with Thy Needle and Thread and I call, believe it's called Springtime. This is stitched on 40 count belt with the called four threads. In about, on or about January 30th, I completed my next project. This one is called Black Horse Inn, and it is also by Kathy Barrick. It's a little bit wrinkled, but I absolutely love the blues and the browns in this project. This was stitched on lentil by Lakeside's Linen 36 count. Great project. Also, while at Spring Green, Wisconsin last May, I came upon this great project that I'd never seen before. And there's a specific reason that I picked this next project, and that is because it is a Bangor, Maine reproduction. And a little knowledge about me is my favorite author is Stephen King, so I absolutely had to have a, a marking sampler on my wall that reflected where Stephen King is from. This is a pattern by Needlework Press, and it's called Maria Davis 18. 23. I did stitch this on a piece of material that I did hand dye myself. I believe it is a 32 count piece of white linen that I used writ to dye. I did use a Valdani thread for this. I did just use one thread. I also did not read my instructions very well and did not realize that they were all supposed to be eyelet stitches, so I just did my initials, DFL and eyelet stitches. But I do really like the way this turned out. I love the way the material turned out. Sorry for the light reflection in back. Quick and easy stitch, but came out lovely. The saying on the bottom says, live in peace, peace with all men. I'm not a much of a big stitch along person, but uh, one of my close friends 
who is my one of my stitching partners we decided that we were going to do a stitch along with a couple of friends and then this stitching project became a project uh, to do the this summer for a, a special occasion for her and I completed this around January 7th this is your grand old flag I believe it's samplers not forgotten so this was stitched on a piece of silk weaver I believe it's called autumn fields And I did a conversion myself on this. So what those of us who were stitching together did was we picked up some crescent color silks and we looked at the pattern and we picked colors that we thought were closest to the pattern. Amazingly, they all came out slightly different, but it came out really nice. Absolutely love this project. It was a really fun stitch. Building the house took a considerable amount of time, but the effect is amazing. This is another stitch from Country Sampler. This was their conversion. This stitch is directly the responsibility of Michelle Rudy. Michelle Rudy had shown this on a video and I think a ton of us did stitch this. It's been done for a while but this is a artful offerings. I can't remember what the horse's name is, the pattern. I did take some liberties on my own and I did create a um, a little lead rope on him but absolutely love the way he turned out. This is a conversion from Country Sampler, the colors. My next project is another um, fun stitch, if you can probably see from my stitching that I do like a lot of colorful pieces of fabric. I don't usually do the conventional white linen. So this project was stitched on a piece of linen that Michelle Rudy, who's Farm Girl, everybody knows Farm Girl, she had um, hand dyed this piece of material and she did not like it. And so at the first Midwest cross stitching retreat on the giveaway table, I found this piece of material. And I looked and looked and looked for a great pattern because I really liked the fabric and finally found something that was perfect for it. This is called Witchy Tea Time by the Primitive Hair on a piece of hand dyed material from Michelle Rudy. I love it. I did use threads from Color and Cotton, just the three colors, and I just think it turned out really fun. The last project that I'm going to show you is the result of a wonderful fellow cross stitcher named Kimberly Ott. Kimberly started a Facebook group for out of print patterns and she happened to share this one which is something I always wanted to stitch. My true confession is that I love Mirabilia designs. It is my first passion. It's been a while since I've stitched some of them, but this offer came to me and I could not refuse it. Thank you, Kimberly Ott. This was a fast stitch, I think fastest stitch I ever did. This I finished in just nine days and this is Tiger Lily by Nora Corbett or Mirabilia. And I absolutely love her. She was done on a piece of 32 count white 
linen. But the colors are amazing in her. So those are all my finished projects that I'm gonna share with you today. Next, I thought I would go through my whip pile and you can see the madness. These are in no particular order. I tend to start a lot of projects. Um, my friends joke and call me squirrel because if I see a floss tube or I see something new, I have to have it and I have to start it. Um, I have this year decided that I'm gonna try to finish some projects, but in the meantime, Here's all the whips I have to finish in 2020. The first one is Long Dog Sampler. I do not speak French, so I am not gonna be able to tell you the name of this pattern. I will have to show you so I don't slaughter the name. I did start this on a piece of 32 count linen that I hand dyed myself. It is rather large. I think I'm gonna have to stand up to show this to you. about that. There's not a really good way to get a close-up of this. I did hand dye this material myself also. A lot of mistakes in there but really enjoy it. that is stitched with a DMC 3685. So I hope this counts as my red sampler. I'm about halfway done. I need to get back working on it. I do enjoy working on it. I don't enjoy the 32 count material and I do not enjoy two strands of thread anymore, but it will be a goal of mine to get it finished this year. It does live in my pizza bag. My sister is a quilter, so she quilt all my project bags for me and a bunch of fun different patterns. The next one is Mary Cotton. Again, stitching bag my sister made for me, Wizard of Oz, for all of you Wizard of Oz, Wizard of Oz fans. This is Mary Cotton, Kathy Barrick, and I really do love this project also. Not very far on her. This is stitched on Light Exemplar Lakeside Linen, a little bit of a start. What drew me to this project was the story of Mary Cotton. She was a serial killer in England. And I was fascinated and I just had to stitch her. So that is Mary Cotton.
in addition to the project bags that my sister makes, she also makes me what I call DAP kits, Donna's accessory pouches. And in these pouches are my threads, needles, a highlighter, scissors, all the things I need to stitch. My next project, also in a different Wizard of Oz bag. Matching dab kit is At the Met by Mirabilia. I have stitched seven or eight Mirabilia fairies, but she was the first non fairy that I did stitch from Mirabilia, and I do really love her. So I did convert the material. I have, these are all the called four threads. This is on 32 count Cyprium by Picture This Plus. I have made some big progress on her. I need to get back to her. I don't think it will take me very long to finish her, but really, really love this material. Love the way she's turning out. Beautiful material. At the Met. Next project bag. I do like scary movies, so my sister made me a monster monster bag. Looks pretty cool with all the quilting on there. She makes my DAP kits in all different sizes. Again, holding all of my accessories, needles, threads, ocean, This one is Red Riding Hood by The Primitive Hair. This one is stitched on 40 Count De Bloom. I did change the color of her cape. I used a, a hand dyed from Color and Cotton. The same with her skirt. So she's coming along. I'm loving stitching all the black around it. The next one is Yellow Submarine by Blackbird Designs. Fun project bag made by my sissy. My little dap kit. Isn't it cute? Love the little dap kit she makes for me. So this is Blackbird Designs Yellow Submarine. I actually started this for my brother and I need to get it finished. This is stitched on 32 count lakeside linen cedar plank. As you can tell, he's been in the bag for a while. It's super wrinkly. Using the called for threads. My next project, which does not have a project bag, is something I just started. Been eyeing this one for a super, super long time because it's absolutely stunning. It is Dear Heart 
by Kathy Barrick. And I found this fabulous piece of material this summer called Feldspar by Lakeside Linen. This is 36 count and I have an embarrassingly small start on this. But this will be my Kathy Barrick that I stitch on since I just finished my Fiona and Edward. So it's a fabulous piece of material. I think that shows pretty true to color. Why I was drawn to this color, a little fact about myself is I am a geological engineer. Although that's not what I do for a living, but I love rocks. I am using a silk conversion on this. And this is what drew me to this project initially, was these fabulous colors. Look how beautiful that, that blue is. Absolutely stunning. I admire all these designers for being able to pull together all these beautiful colors and make these beautiful patterns. I do not have a creative bone in my body, but I'm really good at copying. So give me a pattern and I can make it. My next project bag is a fun little Halloween one. Kind of hard to see the quilting on it. This is a, a home for Mirabilia. This is called Snow Days. I've been wanting to stitch this for a really long time. I converted it all to silks. Sometimes my DAP kits don't match my bags, but that one's fun anyway. This one is being done on 32 count dapple by Picture This Plus. I don't have a huge big start. Kind of hard to see the white on there. But I am loving it. Need to get back to that one. We're not having much of a winter here in Pierce, South Dakota. It's um, about 43 degrees here today and the snow is mostly melted. Kinda hard to stitch in a snowman when there's no snow. I have some seriously old whips. Probably not as old as they could be, but this um, great bag was made by my friend, Jean. And as you can see, this bag is, this stitching is called One Nation. I started this probably two years ago. I should have it done by now, but as I said before, squirrel, I get going on a project and then I can't stay focused on it and I see something new and I have to start something new. So this is how far I am on this one. It's pretty big. I have decided that I'm gonna do all the stars in a satin stitch, but I really like this one. This one is stitched on a, a 40 count exemplar, Lakeside Linen. Did use the called for threads on this. Cupid and the blue, I did change the white. The white was really hard to see on this material. So I'm using a 3865 on that. So 
so many projects, so little time. Love all my little stitchy bags. Matching dab kit. I did experiment with some hand dyed colors or hand dyed materials that I did on my own. Some of them are kind of, my patterns are kind of sometimes hard to see on those, but this one is called, I believe, Queen of. Winter Queen, Winter Ice Queen of the Needles by Primitive Hair. It's a needle book. I did hand dye this myself also. This one, as I go, I'm picking the colors. So I've gotten a little bit done. Not a lot to go. I do like the way this material turned out. This was a, I believe, just a piece of 32 count linen Wisdom Writ dye. I used color and cotton threads on here also. I can't even remember what's in my bag. Another fun project bag for my sissy. This is Nora Corbett Thistle. I did start this last May uh, when my friend Jean and I met up with uh, Lori Textilist and Lisa Smith. Stayed one night at Country Sampler. It was a really good time. Again, a hand dyed material by me. Super small start, almost embarrassing, but that's a little start on her, on Thistle. This is kind of a green-blue material. It's not showing up very well here. It's a lot darker green. My big Oort bag. I just love these ladies. Sometimes I go into project bags and I'm not really sure what's in there. This one, something I haven't started. Another mirror. My Halloween bag. This is shameful. I started this project in 2014. I need to finish it. I haven't got there yet, but it is the Feather Fairy. I'm so close to being done on her too that I just need to get it out and start stitching on her. One thing I will tell you about most mirrors that I stitch is I do stitch their face last. I don't know why, but this is Feather Fairy. This is with all the called for DMC and the uh, linen, the 32 count, whatever was called for. I'm very close on her, I really do love her. I do stitch my mirrors in a methodical method. I do all of the DMC first, then I work on to the metallics, and then I bead last. And I usually save her face and head for last. That is Feather Fairy by Mirabilia.
think I maybe just have two more left to share with you today. I don't even know if I can find the last one. I have a lot of projects that um, are kitted up here that I need to start that I haven't put a stitch in yet. Not enough time in the day. And I must not have it with me. I will share just a couple things I have in my whip basket that I have not started yet, but that are on my immediate radar. Fractor flowers from La Dida linen. Mirabilia, Tree of Hope. Absolutely just love this. Um, this is Picture This Plus Arctic. And I can't wait to start that one. Another one I recently fell in love with. I'd seen it. This is one of the patterns I actually had purchased and then forgot that I had, and then saw it again and fell in love with it again and purchased it again. So that means I need to start it soon. This is A Way We Ride, Blackbird Designs. And I'm gonna be stitching it on this vintage beeswax, which I believe may be an R&R &R reproduction. I really do like it. Can't wait to start that one. And one of the oldest patterns that I've had that I've wanted to stitch for so long and I really do need to get to it because I think it's one of the most beautiful patterns and that is Smith Sampler. I've seen a lot of people that have had this done. I absolutely love this. I just need to find time to start it. Sorry for the offseat screen digging. The other one that I have had for a long time that I really do want to start is um, Leeds House Sampler. I saw this when it came up for market. I am going to do it on a piece of Ancient 40 count with the called for silky threads. I'm sure you've all seen this before, the petites that go with it. dropping things on the floor. So that's Leeds House Sampler. Anyway, that's just a little taste of what I've been working on, what I finished, what I want to get working on. I have several more projects than that, but um, that's just a little taste of it. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day.